When you're working with documents, especially longer documents, and you need to go directly to a specific spot in that document, it can take some time if you have to read through the whole thing. The Find feature can get you there quickly, and if you need to edit what you're looking for, the Find and Replace function can save you enormous amounts of time. Well, we need to open up a longer document, so let's go to our Office button, and we'll click the Open button from there. Make sure you're looking at your Lesson 4 folder of your exercise files, because that's where you're going to find Recipe Book 4. So I'll select it, click Open, to bring it up on our screen. Okay, so let's say we want to go straight to the tiramisu recipe in this book. No sweat. We'll let Word find it for us. All we need to do is go up to the Find button up here in the editing group of our ribbon. Give it a click. There's our Find and Replace dialog box, but it's the Find tab that's selected. Find what? We're going to type it in here, tiramisu. And watch what happens when we click the Find Next button. Bang. We went right to page 8 in a split second where we found the word tiramisu. Notice the word here has a capital T. We didn't have to worry about putting in any capitals down here. So we hit Cancel, and we're there right at the recipe we were looking for in an instant. So that's easy enough. But now let's say we want to find every occurrence of a word, like sugar, and replace it with the word sweetener. We'll start at the top of our document because the search goes from the top down. So the keyboard shortcut to get to the top of your document, hold down the control key on your keyboard while you tap the home key. That takes us right to the top of our document, right at the top of page one. So this time we want to do a find and replace. Now we could go up to the editing group if we wanted to up here on the ribbon or we can use the keyboard shortcut which is hold down the control key and the letter F as in find. So here we are again with our find and replace dialog box. There's tiramisu from our last search. This time though we're going to click replace and you can see in the replace with field you may have nothing in there but I'm going to type in sweetener And what do I want to find? The word sugar. So that should be selected up here, tiramisu. We type in sugar. Now we know that whatever we're looking for here, sugar, will be replaced with sweetener if we say it's okay. Because when we hit find next, look what happens. We're taken to the first occurrence of the word sugar. So our choices are now to replace that with sweetener or replace them all. Or if we just want to skip over this one, we would click find next and we'll go on to the next one. I'm going to click replace. The replace is done, but automatically Word moves down a little bit further in my document to the next occurrence of the word sugar. So I could click replace here, and I could click replace for every single occurrence of the word sugar, or if I'm fully confident that they should all be changed to the word sweetener, I can come over here and click the replace all button. Watch this. We give it a click, and Word has completed its search of the document and has made 80 replacements. How long would it have taken us to find every occurrence of the word sugar, all 80 of them, and replace it with sweetener? Quite a bit. So we click OK here, and we can close our Find and Replace dialog box. So keep this feature in mind when you find yourself searching through a document for that specific text, whether it's to move to that spot or to replace it with something else.